Today we're looking at the Jinhao Chinese Dragon Fountain Pen. Um, the first thing you'll notice about this fountain pen is it is ridiculously decorated. If you take a look at it, um, it's obviously got a, a dragon um, on the pen. <laughs> there's a dragon with two red eyes. If you spin it around, there's a somewhat functional pen clip there, but it's extremely heavy. That's the first thing you'll see. This is all metal covering a resin body. But what I wanted to show you about this pen was exactly how heavy it is. And I didn't know how to communicate that to you other than to literally compare it to something that hopefully you'll have an idea what it is, at least those of you in the US. This is a roll of dimes. So let's weigh it. Looks like it's weighing it at 109 grams. So we're gonna take off the roll of dimes, which is quite heavy. We're gonna weigh this Jinhao Chinese Dragon Fountain Pen. 114 grams, people. This thing weighs more than an entire roll of dimes. This is not a fountain pen, this is a weapon. I don't understand how anybody could write with this thing comfortably. What you'll notice is, take an average plastic fountain pen, Platinum Preppy that I reviewed last week, 11. A whole 100 grams extra, there's no comparison. I mean, it's insane how heavy this thing is. So, let me move those out of the way. Um, other than that, kind of go through the pen real quick. It does have a screw off cap, remove that. It has a place to post where you can go ahead and screw it on the back there. Not practical at all. I mean this thing, can you hear that? How heavy that is? Insane. There's just no way anybody can write with this. What's interesting about this pen is I actually found it on Amazon. I was looking for pens that had good reviews. Um, four stars are better basically to see which pens I wanted to review. I was looking for some ones that other people thought were good, so hopefully I could bring you guys some value. Um, I thought this one had an interesting look. It had at least 16 four star or better reviews. I can tell you for sure those have to be fake. There is no one that could write with this thing for any length of time. I mean, it's ridiculous. So anyway, if I take the cap off, which is by the way, the only way you can write pretty much at all with this thing, because it might as well be a nightstick. I mean, it's just heavy. There's nothing great about the feel of this pen. It's way too heavy. Um, it does come with a converter, so I loaded it with some purple Quaco ink I had already. Um, that was nice. It is a Jinhao nib, and it writes very smoothly. If you didn't have this tremendously heavy body to deal with, I mean, I think it would work better as possibly a throwing knife, you know, if you sharpen that nib a little bit, than it would as a fountain pen. A little bit ridiculous. 